Hey, how you doing guys? Anthony here from DIY Auto Tech with another tabletop review of a new gun that I just got. Uh, this is going to be a video for RugerForum.net. Uh, I said I'd upload this for you guys, so I am doing it right now. Uh, the, bit, the gun we're going to review today is this uh, Ruger new model single 6 22 LR 22 Magnum convertible. Convertible because it has both cylinders. Uh, before we move on with this video, we're going to safety check the firearm. And we'll do that in front of the camera here for you. As you can see, all chambers are empty. So this is the gun that we have here guys, the Ruger uh, new model single 6 in 22 LR, 22 Magnum. Uh, it comes with all the box and the accessories, the locks and all that stuff. We're not going to get into that, we're just going to get into gun use, um, accuracy, you know, all, just all the stuff you kind of want to know about. We'll look it over in detail, so on and so forth. Um, the first thing I want to talk about with this gun is uh, the size and the weight. Um, it's pretty hefty. I'm not going to give you the exact numbers, but if you want to, if you want to feel the gun, um, you know, go into one of your stores, go check it out. Give you a little sight picture of it here. See that? So the sights are okay. Very decent. Just like all the other Rugers. It's a single action gun. So we cock the hammer back. And then we pull the trigger. I'm not going to fire this as it is a rim fire. We already said that this gun is unloaded, so we'll check out the barrel. It's got a nice thick barrel on there. A uh, nice long ejector rod. The ejector rod is good. Uh, it'll clear out all the rounds. As you can see, that rod you can start hauling. After a while, you get pretty good at it. So, that's that. Um, disassembly is really nice too. We've got this base pin right here that we push in and we pull the pin out. And all you got to do is open the loading gate. And the cylinder pops freely out. So, let's check out these cylinders here. You can see there's a lot of meat in between each one of those chambers. So you know that this product is going to last a long time. The, main sh the machine quality is okay. This is a 2012 model. So you can see it has been test fired. And it's got the uh, numbers scribed on there that match with the gun. Now this is the 22 Magnum cylinder. As you can see the difference is that it's uh, unfluted. Again, a lot of meat in between the chambers since it's only 6 rounds. And uh, it's pretty nice. We can go ahead and drop this in the gun. We'll do the 22 Magnum cylinder since it does look a lot better. Personally, I think it looks better with the 22 Magnum in there. I like the unfluted look, but you know, you guys can be the judge of that. So let's. Looks a little different now. Set the gun down. Check out all of its features. Well, one thing I want to mention is uh, that this gun has a set of aftermarket grips on it. And uh, I actually installed the Ruger hardwood gunfighter grips. I don't know if you can really tell the difference, but I'll get my Ruger Blackhawk out to show you. These grips are much thinner. They fit your hand a lot better and they're recessed right here. So they start narrowing down. And uh, they really, I mean, they just, your hand just can wrap almost all the way around the whole thing. So, it's a great, great gun. Let me show you the difference. I'll pull on my Ruger Blackhawk here, the, my 357 Magnum, and we'll safety check this gun as well. As you can see, it's a Ruger Blackhawk 357 Magnum. A little beefier of a gun. This gun is also 
free of any cartridges. And if you look at the grips, you can see how much beefier they are, especially down at the bottom. So let's let's do a little comparison. You can see how much meat is taken off, and my cat's walking by, and decides that this is going to be a good spot to stop. So like I said, as you can see, the grips are much thinner. And look at the size difference on the gun as well. You got a 357 Magnum on the left, 22 on the right. And these are the same uh, frame design if you want to call it that. They're both single action Rugers. And it, uh, there's a little bit of weight difference for sure. Um, but they're just they're two different guns. So I just wanted to point out the grips that I installed. These style of grips come stock on the single six. These fatter grips. These are just the regular Ruger grips. Um, but you can order that custom set of the hardwood gunfighter grips, the thin grips from Ruger, and they're around $30 or $40, something like that. So personally I like the thin grips better on this 22 because it is a smaller caliber revolver. I would like smaller grips, keep everything tighter. Um, in terms of trigger pull, it's pretty good. It's decent when you cock the hammer back. It's got a hard pull, but uh, you know lockup time is going to be really good with that. Um, the trigger has, I, would, I wouldn't say a lot of creep, but it, it could have some work done to it. Throw some wolf, wolf spring kit at it, or uh, reduce hammer spring, maybe like a 20 pound. Um, you don't want to lower it more than, you know, 15% because you don't want to lose your drop time on that hammer. Um, in terms of fit and finish, it's pretty good. Um, Ruger is having a tough time getting all their guns out on time. They're on back order, but this gun seems to be pretty nice. So, as you can tell, it looks pretty good black front sight, adjustable rear sight, nice markings on the hammer spur. Overall the fit and finish is really nice. I can't complain. But the only spot that looks slightly bad is right in here. It's not flush exactly but that's alright. Excuse me. Guess all that gun oil is getting into my uh, sinuses. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Ruger Single Six. It's a great gun. Very accurate. Very light. Um, it's a great planker. <laughs> Look at that view, huh? How scary is that? You can definitely tell it's a 22, but it's a great little gun. Um, we'll do we'll do a couple videos of me holding it out so you can see what it looks like. 22 LR cylinder in there. Perfect one handed shooter. Just hold the gun out as if we're shooting it. I'm not going to actually pull the trigger. Let's see if you can get a shot of that.
Overall, great gun. It's been another video from Anthony at DIY Auto Tech. See you next time.